Welcome to the official U.S. states tier list. As an average American citizen, I have the complete right to utterly destroy your state in the marketplace of ideas. America is like a wasteland. I imagine the rest of the world looks at this country like a giant McDonald's housing a species of SCP horrors. If you were to drop into America like Fortnite from a battle bus, you would have a 75% chance of landing in a Wendy's parking lot. Pretty much all of these states have something horrible to say about them, and so if I make fun of your state, you deserve it. First up is Indiana a state shaped like a shriveled chat bubble because no one has anything to say about it. When I Google what is Indiana known for, an empty field pops up. F. Next up is Hawaii, which is probably one of the few states I'd actually maybe visit. You wouldn't want to live here though because every day you're rolling a D20 volcano check to see whether or not you will die today. It sucks that we just took this island over and exploited it and now you only go there if you're one of the few people that can afford travel. It's pretty, I guess. B. This is California, a great state to live in if you enjoy being set on fire in your sleep by someone's rogue cigarette that just so happened to start a 50 mile wide wildfire in your backyard. C. Here is Alaska, another state we stole. I mean, to be honest, we stole all of these states, but this one's pretty cool. I think Alaska seems really pretty and it's probably really peaceful. It's just like you, three flannel clad men and one Sarah Palin in each town. They don't have cars in Alaska, actually. You just ride a moose. B. Here's Alabama, a very warm familial state. If you're born in Alabama, it's really cool because everyone is your cousin. Family get-togethers are crazy. You just invite the whole town over for dinner. F. Arizona and New Mexico are basically the same state to me. I've been there, and Breaking Bad was not joking. It really do look like that. You step off the plane, and it's like putting on 3D glasses that only show you sepia tone. You don't even have grass lawns. They just throw pebbles in the yard because living there is basically uninhabitable for any being in nature. Stepping outside is like SpongeBob taking off his fishbowl in Sandy's dome. I like cactuses, though. C. Here's Colorado, a funny-shaped state that just started giving up once they got to the west. They're like, eh, big ass heap of land with no one in it. Just draw some squares. B. Delaware. Like, actually where? I, I can't find this on a map. C. Connecticut is one of those states that really pisses me off because it's spelled so fucking stupidly. This was so hard to learn as a kid. The second C is just silent for some reason. When does that happen in any word? It reads for the first time like connect a cut, as if it's some children's game about surgery. It's probably fine here. I don't know. A. Florida. <laughs> Imagine living in Florida. A swampy hellscape. I'm unsure if the people that live here even like it. I imagine walking around outside looks like Left 4 Dead 2 gameplay, just a bunch of vile boomers walking around ready to swarm you at any moment on the swamp level. People are just downing bath salts and getting mosquito bites. I'm actually happy old people like this place. We can just keep sending them there. I seriously can't imagine a much worse place to live. F. Georgia is like Alabama, but slightly cooler because it has Atlanta, I guess. D. Maryland is cool. You just eat a shit ton of crab and fish with your bros. I imagine the whole state just smells like Old Bay seasoning and sweat. C. I Idaho, known for like the potato or whatever. Seriously, is this even real? I mean, honestly, sometimes I look at a state and get confused because I haven't heard anything about it since I learned the US states in grade three. It must be very boring to live here, D. Illinois is cool. It's run by that funny billionaire who realized that if you do things people like, sometimes it makes people like you more. You either live in Chicago or buy a Walgreens in a field. B. Arkansas, a state that just looks and sounds frozen in time. It's like society hasn't progressed there for 200 years. The senator's names are John Boozman and Tom Cotton, which actually sound like 1700s musket men or like characters in Oregon Trail. I actually looked it up and this state has the lowest amount of internet access in the entire US. I actually think people just drink moonshine here and read a sundial to tell the time still. F. Iowa, which is the cheapest northern state to live in. Remember when you were a kid and when you drew something outside, you would draw it on a straight line. Many people would say those were inaccurate drawings, but they were actually photorealistic depictions of Iowa, as it has zero terrain. It's just a big flat gray field. F. Kansas. It's Arkansas, but with fewer letters so that the people that live there have a higher chance of spelling it correctly. F. Kentucky, known for its horse breeding. Whether that's between two horses or a horse and a man, I'm not sure. F. F. Louisiana, a party state. I imagine Mardi Gras is pretty fun, although when a French person hears Louisiana French, I imagine they barf uncontrollably. D. Maine, a state so white that a second sun is beginning to form there. Apparently it is the least diverse state in the country, and it is becoming absolutely blinding to look at. Please move it out of my eyes. If you eat meat there, they serve it to you raw with no seasoning, and all you get to drink is milk. You can climb all the way up a lighthouse, and look around in binoculars for hours, but you will never, ever see a single good place to eat. D. Massachusetts. Probably fine. A. Michigan is sort of a sad state, but maybe it can get better. You can buy a house for $5,000 and the water can't legally be called water. C. Minnesota is cool. I actually can't think of any reason to make fun of it. It's probably alright. You can build a snow fort.
A. Mississippi. It's the bane of everyone's spelling class, but on the upside, it's also the most fun state to say and spell. Living there is apparently horrible, though, and no one makes any money for their labor. F. Montana is very beautiful. Tons of national parks and cool places to camp and cool sights to see, and you can fall in an acidic hot spring and literally dissolve. The great news is that if the giant supervolcano explodes in Yellowstone, you won't have to deal with the fallout and slow, anxious death of America because you'll be the first to die. B. Nebraska, a state no one knows is real, because the only time you ever see it is when you are flying over it in an airplane to go somewhere more interesting. D. Nevada, a wasteland to lose all of your hard-earned money on something other than Fortnite skins for once, you fucking children. Gamble like a real man, wasted on a slot machine. There's probably some good food in Las Vegas. C. New Hampshire is just a weirder Vermont. Uh, Vermont is probably cool, though. You just walk around Burlington Mall and you have a 5% chance of seeing Bernie Sanders buying mittens. I give them both an A. New Jersey is fucking horrible. I don't think anyone likes this state. It's, it's not even just a forgettable one. Like, people all actively have a negative opinion of it. They all drive horribly and talk weird and apparently it has the most hazardous waste sites of any state so that makes sense everyone there is a mutant f new york which is essentially just 90 percent this one city and then a bunch of rich suburbs surrounding it uh good pizza every citizen has a pet rat that is controlling them underneath their hat uh you can drown while taking public transit maybe one night you'll see a drunk jimmy fallon wandering the streets with a distant creepy laugh c i guess north carolina and south carolina both suck ass your only chance of escaping poverty or eviction or gaining any upward momentum in life is if Mr. Beast somehow runs into you at Walmart and gives you a check for $100,000. F. North Dakota and South Dakota aren't real. I think there are more nuclear missiles housed here than people. F. Ohio. Fucking Ohio. So many people have been memeing this, the word almost doesn't seem real anymore. I imagine Ohio is still in black and white. It probably looks like the Fallout games after you get out of the vault. It's crazy that so many people live here. There's so much pollution. You just live in smog. If Pokemon are real, it's probably Muck and Grimer, and they live in Cincinnati. F. Oklahoma is is just a funny hat you put on top of Texas. I think they just wanted to have funny props to put on Texas, like Mexico is a sweater and Texas is the head and he's wearing a little Oklahoma hat. D. Oregon is probably fine. I mean, it just rains all the time. Maybe a deadly earthquake will hit and it'll go underwater and you can build a boat. A. Pennsylvania, a place to go to one of the 500 museums about the founding fathers and old people you don't care about anymore. It's really boring, but you can eat a cheesesteak. It will soon be run by the only ogre in Congress, John Fetterman. That's based, I guess. B. Rhode Island is not a fucking island and that pisses me off. There are islands next to it. This could be road, and then these are islands, but the whole thing is not a road island. It's attached to the U.S. and just a bunch of old, rich, white people. Boring. C. Missouri, which should be spelled M-I-S-E-R-Y, because that's the only feeling you can have there. Misery. F. Tennessee, a place where good music hasn't existed since Elvis Presley. You died to ear damage, or you died to a gunshot in Memphis. F. Texas is really funny, because nothing works there. If it gets too cold, the entire power grid shuts down while the senators fly off to go drink tropical drinks in the Bahamas. You can buy a house there for really cheap because there's no amenities there other than highways and way too many Twitch streamers. So that's cool, I guess. F. Utah is a state that I know nothing about other than the fact that it is overrun with Mormons. Apparently it has the highest rate of skin cancer in the nation, so you either have three tumors on your skin or three wives. F. Virginia is just a big grip on Washington, D.C., a city that will never be allowed to become its own state because Virginia is holding it too tightly. There's no sports here. Like, you can't even root for anything. You just turn on the TV on a sports night and they show you the local news. C. West Virginia is just Virginia but worse. I feel bad for the people that live here, genuinely. D. Washington is great. Uh, if you want to live in Seattle and pay $5,000 for a studio apartment that gets rained on half the year, the skies are always gray, so you can just stay inside and drink beer and write code for a horrible tech company. C. Wisconsin is like a nothing state. I don't even know anything about it other than the fact that I think you'd have fucked on a cheese here. Apparently they have this place called Culver's where you can just eat a 3,000 calorie burger or drink a two days worth of calorie milkshake. That's pretty fucking sick, honestly. D. Wyoming isn't real. Nice fucking try. You almost got me. F. Anyway, that's my tier list. Here's the final look of it. If I made fun of your state, you deserve it. Get owned. Here's an ad. <laughs> Merry Christmas. This video is brought to you by the great people over at Skillshare. Skillshare is an amazing way to brush up on your skills on any subject from music to UX design. Personally, I've been watching the audio mixing on the go video by King Arthur DJ, as I've been focusing a lot on mixing and mastering on my own songs on Lilac Boy stuff, and this has really helped me out, honestly. Now is the perfect time to invest in yourself, and with Skillshare, you are easily able to engage in your specific hobbies 
hobbies and passions all year long. Unlike other holiday sales you might be seeing right now, Skillshare isn't about more consumption or more stuff for the sake of more stuff. Skillshare is about you and your passions, you and your creative spirit. It's about doing something for yourself and growing your skill set all year long, which I think is important. So what are you waiting for? The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Thanks.